Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my daily-ish makeup routine <laughs> using affordable brushes and a sponge. They're from Lab Lab Squared Lab 2 Beauty. I'm so sorry, I don't know. It should be Lab Squared if I'm reading it correctly, but I'm going to be using their stuff. They were kind enough to send me a few things and I also found some that were sent to me by another PR company like months ago. So I'm going to just group all of these Lab Squared brushes and show them to you in this video. And the reason why I'm featuring them is not because this video is sponsored, I'm not being paid by them. These were PR gifts, so they were sent to me so I can try them out and hopefully review, so I'm going to review them for you. These are sold at Walmart, so I know some of you had asked me before whether I had tried them out, if I like them, if I don't, so in this video you're going to see me using them and I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't like, but in the end you're going to be seeing my daily-ish makeup routine as well. And I apologize if I start looking a little bit sweaty. It is very hot here in San Diego. We're experiencing a fall heat wave, which is, oh, it feels so bad. Like it feels horrible. I'm like sweating in my own room. All I want is some sweater weather and that's like the last thing we're getting here. <laughs> like I'm already starting to get like a little like sweat mustache. And I haven't been filming for like five minutes. The first thing that I'm going to do is just prep my face. I'm using the Milk Makeup Fuller Stick to prime my face. This is still my favorite primer. I use it pretty much daily. And I think I've used around half of it as you can see. I just love it. It is so easy to apply. You can easily work the primer into your skin using your fingers. But I remember when I saw this brush, they actually recommended to use it for primer. So why not? Why not use it this way? I have used it for foundation. It works really well. I do think this is one of the most sturdiest like handle brushes, especially for how affordable it is. You can see it has a little bit of a bend. But it doesn't feel like it's going to like break apart because I do have some of the brushes or like the dupes from eBay and although I do like the fiber quality then this one's equally as soft as those ones. With the other ones they just had a lot of bend to the point that I felt like I was going to break them. So this one's a little sturdier but the bristles are super soft so it works really well for foundation or cream products, cream contour, cream, maybe not cream blush, but cream contour works really well, or even just like a little bit underneath the eyes. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation in the number three champagne and eight golden ivory, just because I'm in between shades at the moment. In the in-between colors, there's nothing that's a true like yellow or golden undertone, so having to mix a little bit. I'm going to be using the I'm Turning Pro foundation brush just to mix these two colors in and then apply them on my face. This brush I would not use to apply foundation all over the face. I think it's by far way too stiff for that. There's nothing you can do in terms of blending so you would be almost kind of striping the foundation onto the face. So this is going to be just like my little mixing <laughs> brush and then just applying it because it's way too small to do any like true foundation work in my opinion. Now to blend out my foundation I'm going to be using the sponge which I've been absolutely loving. I did not think I was going to love it as much just because when it is dry it is very stiff but once you wet it with water it is very soft, has a really nice um, really nice bounce back in my opinion and I really do like the fact that it has two sides so it has a wider end, you can use it for foundation, then you can just flip it around, put it underneath the eyes or on any crevices to do more precise work so I'm going to be using this side and this sponge is super soft. I honestly did not think it was going to be as soft just because like I mentioned um, it was a little bit stiff when it's completely dry, so I was just like a little worried, but it actually works really, really well. I will say this sponge is very fragile, so you have to be very careful when you do wash it, just because it does have this thinner little divot in here. So when I washed it the first time, I was not careful, so 
I did end up, you know, splitting it a little bit. But that was my fault because I was way, way, way too harsh when I was washing it. So, yeah. Word of advice. Be careful when you wash this sponge. But it works truly amazing for blending out foundation or any cream products. It just works really, really well. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Just because I need it right now. I'm breaking out at the moment. Now you're getting to see how I use the more narrow end to blend things out. It just fits perfectly into the small crevices. I can bounce it right on top of a blemish. And it's just more precise. For contour and blush, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. This one's in the shade Amber, which has been my go-to contour slash bronzer for the past like month and a half since Fenty Beauty came out. I just really love them. They make just doing this so simple. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Matchsticks in Yacht Life. And this, I'll just draw on like that it looks very scary when you first try it on. I'm going to be using the I'm Turning Pro buffing brush for the contour which is just a really nice domed buffing brush. I have used this to buff on my liquid foundation the Bare Pro and it works amazing for that as well. If you're used to using a buffing brush I would highly recommend this one just because of its shape and it is quite wide so it works perfectly for both liquid and powder foundations. And I'm going to be using a smaller brush for the blush. This one is very similar to the one I used for the primer which I now can't find. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is. So it's a smaller version of it, so it's perfect for blush. Now for eyes, I'm going to start off with a light base of the Linen Matchsticks. Just all over the lid to blend everything out, make the lid appear more even. And the brush that I'm using is the I'm Turning Pro Eyeshadow Brush, which is a standard paddle-shaped eyeshadow brush. Now grabbing Amber once again, which is the contour shade, I'm going to slightly brush it onto the Just Blending In brush, which is a really fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be applying this shade on the crease of my eye. Just going to lightly pass it through my crease. I really like the size of this crease brush and it's also quite soft so you can get that really nice like color gradation as you can see. It works really well with both cream products as well as powder products. And finally I'm going to take a little bit of a shimmery matchsticks. This one is in the shade Starstruck with the same kind of paddle shape brush. I'm going to apply it right on the mobile eyelid area. Just to get a little bit of a, I don't know, something shimmery <laughs> on the lid. I'm also going to pop it right in the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to use a little Glossier Boy Brow on my brows. And now I'm going to apply a lot of mascara. And <laughs> I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, which my friend Alessandra recommended to me. And it's it's truly amazing. I did not think I was going to love it as much as I do, but I'm glad I listened to her. I went out to Target and bought it. It's been really, really great so far. Before I set my makeup, I'm going to boop this sponge right over my face one last time just to make sure everything is, you know, well blended, it's not creasing, it's not like settling into fine lines, you know. And I just want to take care of the little sweat mustache before I put powder on top of it, on top of that. Now to set all of this in, I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot, which has been loved a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to be applying it using the Triple Threat Multi-Purpose Brush, which is this flat top brush, which would also work amazing for foundation. I've only used it for powder so far just because I feel like I can really press that powder into, you know, 
into the T-zone, around my nose. Like it's a really nice brush for pressing powder where you need it. And I need it everywhere because I have really oily skin, so I need to press it in. I feel like I need a little something underneath my lower lash line, so I'm going to apply a little bit of amber just on the lower lash line, just a little bit. And now for highlight, I'm going to be using this little number right here. This is the Milk Makeup Holographic Powder Quad in Space Jam, which it looks like this. I have been obsessed with this since I got it from Sephora. It is basically my dream holographic highlighter palette. I don't even know. It's just, it's amazing. It's so, so great. And I'm going to use this one, the white one, which is actually the one I've used the most since I got this palette. It just, it's so beautiful. I love it. And to apply the highlight, I'm going to be using the I'm Turning Pro Contour Brush. With this brush, I'm going to be dipping it on its side just to pick up the highlighter. And then you can just lay it down and drag it. And it's the perfect size for highlighting. I mean, obviously you can also use it to contour. You can just put it on the hollows of the cheeks. But it works really, really well for highlighting as well. So I'm just going to highlight the crap out of my face. <laughs> just make sure you don't hit your eye when you're highlighting your face. Don't be too enthusiastic about highlighter. And finally on the lips, I'm going to be applying two Bare Minerals products. This is the Over Under Lip Liner in Vibe, and this is the Matte Lip Color in Scandal, which is one of my favorites. And this is the finished look. So it's quite simple, quite quick, if I'm not talking to a camera. And it really doesn't involve too many products. Most of them were cream products, the Fenty Beauty matchsticks, which, like I said, I've been obsessed with. They're just so multi-purpose. And you guys know that I've been such a big fan of stick products, the glossy Halo Scope, and then you have the Milk Makeup Sticks. So. I just, I just really like stick products. They're the easiest to work with on a daily basis. I don't have to reach for too many things and they're very multi-purpose. So yeah, this is the look using the Lab, Lab Squared Beauty brushes and also the sponge. If I were to give you like my top five, yeah, let's do that. Top five products that I would recommend from them. The sponge is definitely a must, quite affordable. I really like the fact that it has like two sides, so something wider for foundation, something more narrow for concealer, contour work, or just more precise work. It is extremely, extremely soft once you wet it. You do have to be just a little bit careful when you wash it, but overall, I really love this sponge and I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna go to Walmart buy myself a, a replacement because this is a no-no for me but it was my fault for being so harsh with it so there you go this is definitely a must I also do think that these brushes I'm gonna count them as one just because it's up to you which one you want but these handle brushes are quite nice they're very affordable once again the fibers are super super soft and the actual like handle is bendy but not to the point that you feel like you're going to break them so they do have a little bit of bend but not excessive so they feel a lot sturdier than other really affordable versions of this type of brush the other brush that is a complete must-have in my opinion would be this this is the triple threat multi-purpose brush i just really like the fact that you can press in powder you can apply liquid foundations just this type of brush is a very multi-purpose brush you can use it for blush you can use it to contour you can use it if you wanted to for highlighting it's just a very easy brush to work with I find that the bristles are they're not the softest but they're not scratchy either so they work really well for powder products so 
I really, really like this one and I would highly recommend it. The other one that I would recommend a lot would be the Crease Brush. This is the perfect synthetic brush. Oh, I forgot to mention. All of these are synthetic bristles, so this is just perfect for any soft crease work. You can diffuse eyeshadow, you can use it to blend out anything. It won't be the best for precise like crease work or if you're applying something very, very dark. I forgot what I was saying about the crease brush because I had to go and get another memory card, but it's just really good for soft washes of color, blending out. The handle is nice and thin, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I can hold it really well. So this one's another must-have in my opinion, and I kind of feel like getting a backup because I really like the shape. Um, the other one that I would recommend, this. This I would recommend, the I'm Turning Pro Contour Brush. Unfortunately, all the brushes that say I'm Turning Pro, they're part of a kit. So yeah, you would be stuck with a few brushes. But it's a nice kit because you do get four brushes in the kit. This one would be my least favorite. I just don't really like paddle shaped foundation brushes. Hence why I didn't use this one in the video. This is the don't get mad, get even foundation brush. I just don't really see much of a purpose with these brushes and they do make the foundation a little bit streaky so if you wanted to apply like a face mask a moisturizer or even just kind of like gluing the foundation down on your face then they work well but they're personally not my favorite but this works really well for highlighting really well for blush contour again another really multi-purpose brush and the other one that's like a little bonus that's really nice is a buffing brush but i went over my five <laughs> So if you've seen these brushes, this line of products at Walmart, I would recommend picking them up. I know I would walk right past them so many times. So now that I know that they're affordable, they're synthetic fibers as well, and they're good quality, I'm actually a lot more inclined to test out other, other brushes from this range. So there's the tutorial the video if you have any questions about lab squared beauty let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of their other brushes that i didn't feature in this video let me know in the comments below if you happen to be new to this channel take the moment to subscribe to get brand new videos from me i will try my best to post more often but it's been getting so crazy at work i'm working 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 which is good for my paycheck not so good for you know video stuff it really did put things into perspective because it takes a long time to film videos in two languages and make them as high quality as i possibly can but i know i'm a little bit absent on youtube but i'm very active on social media so if you don't follow me there very active on instagram and i'm very active on snapchat as well so go follow me there um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys very soon in my next video Bye! So I'm out of Sephora and obviously back at Bare Minerals covered in swatches as you can see. This is my right hand. Hold on. Left hand, although left hand was initially covered in highlighter swatches even on my wrist. That's where I did 